Hello everyone, my name is Nargis Nasreen and today we are going to learn about transaction control language. So let's start. In this, what we do, we have two commands. One is commit and second is rollback. Okay, so let's try to understand what is this. See, Whenever we uh, do certain things in a database, like we add few things, we remove some details from there. So it's not like all those changes that you are making are going to be saved automatically. Okay. So, and if they are not going to be saved automatically, we might lose some important data. So in that case, what we do, we use commit. So what commit will do, it will save the changes that you have made. and uh, after making the change, whatever the new version, we can see the updated data is present in your database, that data uh, will be accessible to the users. Okay, because you have commit your changes, that is, you have saved your changes. Now, what's the meaning of rollback? So, rollback is used to undo some changes. Like if you have uh, done something and but you remember, okay, I do not want it like this, you can roll back. That is, you want to undo your changes. Okay, so that last change that you are going to make uh, will not count uh, because that will be, uh, because you have rolled back that. Okay. And one important thing is that it is only applicable on three commands of SQL, that is insert, update, and delete. Okay. So on these three only, we can use commit and rollback. Okay, so to understand it better, we are going to start working with our MySQL workbench and they will see how to use these two commands and uh, what changes we are going to make using this. Okay, so I'm going to share my, like I'm going to use my MySQL workbench now. Okay, so let's see. So we have all the things present here. We have our database customers, okay? And I have inserted a new query file. This is what you'll be using. And I have made certain changes. Let me show you first. See. So I added two new columns, that is first name and last name, and I inserted new data also. So we have already done that this before, like how to add columns and how to add data in that. So if you don't know about this, you can go back and you can watch previous videos, like about DDL commands and DML commands, okay? And it will become easy for you. So now let's try to understand, okay. So this is what visible to us right now. Uh, this is how our database looking like. Right, the customer table. Okay. Now, what I want to do, like everything that is visible here, so I have inserted all these details in this. Okay. So I want to do what I want to do. Comment on this. Okay. That means uh, whatever changes I have made, like about the first name and last name, everything is going to be fixed. Okay. So I will write on comment, and then I will execute this. Okay. Now next, what we are going to do, let's try to do one thing. Let's try to use update command because we know that only few commands it is applicable, insert, update, and delete. So let's use update command. So I will be writing update. Now update what? Update customers and uh, set. Let's set the last name of some uh, Customer ID, like sir, last name, let's change the last name of particular user, of the particular customer. So we'll be writing set last name is equal to uh, what we can give. Uh, let's say Jonas. Okay, and we have to give the condition. Otherwise, it will change for every uh, data values that is present in that column. So, right? So we have to mention the condition. Where? Customer ID, this is one of the columns we have, is equal to, let's say, two. 
Okay. So first, let me show you how our original database is. So this is how it is looking like. So this is the customer ID two, and the last name is Harry, and the first name is Vic. What I want to do that I want to execute this query, and uh, uh, where I want to change the last name of this user. Okay. So let's do this. I'm going to execute this. Now let me show you. See, it changed. Jonas. Now, see, but now I remember, okay, I have done this mistake. I do not want this Jonas. I want the previous one back. Okay. So how to do this? So to do this, first you have to do what? Uh, you have to go on edit and you have to click on preferences. Then you have to click on SQL execution. And here you can see this option that is, let me mark this. New connection, use auto commit mode. So if it is checked, you have to uncheck this, okay? Because by default, our uh, SQL server is in commit mode. So every change you are going to make, it is going to be fixed. You cannot change that. So if it is checked, if even if you are going to write down rollback, it will not work because it is in auto commit mode. Okay, so you have to uncheck this and then you have to click on OK. And after clicking on OK, please restart your workbench, then it will work fine. Okay, and I have already done it, so I do not have to do it. So I have changed this. Now what I have to do, I have to get it back to the original previous one. So I will be writing rollback. Okay, now let me execute this. Okay, it is done. Now let me again see my uh, table. So see, it is back to Harry. So this is how we use rollback. And whatever is present, rollback will work up to here only. The moment it is going to see comment, it is not going to make any change, okay? Because comment, comment means you have made permanent change. And no matter how many update commands or any uh, up, insert or delete command you are going to use, and after doing all of those things, you are going to do rollback, it is going to be applicable on each and every command, each and every query, okay? So for, let's see that for a customer ID3, I will change it, I will change it to, uh, let's see, Right. I'm not sure about the name. Okay, so now let me execute this and let me execute this. And let's see, I'm going to click on select command. So see, we have uh, William Jonas, it is changed, and John Mary, it is also changed. This is customer ID 3 and this is customer ID 2. And if now we are going to do the rollback, it will do rollback for every command that is present after the comment. Okay, and before rollback, that is in between these two. So let me show you. See, it is changed to John Wick and William Henry, right? So this is how we do it. But see, if I'm going to use one of the update command here, okay? And then I will change, let's change, make it to Jonas. And here I will be doing something. Okay, let's do this only, okay? That I am doing update here. Let me run this and then I'm doing the commit. Okay, let me, now I'm going to not use these two and I will be using rollback. So you might have guessed what is going to happen. I'm going to do rollback. So now let's see. So the change is not going to happen. It is going to be fixed to Jonas. Even though we have done roll, rollback, but we have already done the commit. So if you have to, uh, if you are sure that this is how you, you want your database to look like, only then use commit command, okay? Because once you do it, you will, you know, you will not get it back. That is it. That is the change is permanent. And if any of you feel like, okay, no, I want to change this, you can do rollback, but be careful. If let's say that, uh, like, let me give it this example, that you have written this much code, okay? And on this line, this line only you want to do rollback. After this, you want to do rollback from here to here, not for this. Okay, the above four lines are proper. You do not want to change these four lines. But if you're going to do rollback here, what is going to happen? If you haven't done comment, it is going to make the change on every other uh, query that is present. Okay, so that is why it is very uh, important that if you're sure that you do not want to make change on these four lines, so after doing this, just do comment, okay? So after doing here, you can write comment here. 
after these four lines. And now you want to make change in these three lines of code here in this, in this, and in this, then you can do rollback. So that it will go to it previous uh, way. Okay. So it's very important. You have to be careful where you are writing your commit command and you, do, you are writing a rollback command. Okay. And rollback, always remember, it is going to make all the changes. Okay. Once you are going to do rollback, and there is no commit command. So whatever query you have written about rollback, it is going to uh, make it go, you know, it is going to make all the changes and it will go to its previous uh, way, previous look, how it was looking before. So if you are sure that, okay, I want this much code to be changed, then use commit and, you know, and keep, you know, keep on doing that. And every time you are sure, use commit. Every time you are sure, use commit. Okay, and the moment you feel like, no, I do not want this, you can do rollback. So this is how we use rollback and commit command. And be careful about this edit part also. This is very, very important. If you're not going to do the edit part and frequencies part, it is not going to work. So this is all about rollback and commit command. Okay, and that's it.